Krita vs Photoshop, a topic I wanted to stay away from but here I am making a video on this. So yeah, I will be discussing in today's video whether Krita is as good as Photoshop or not and we are starting it right now. Personally speaking, the one and only reason which I personally think keeps Krita anywhere near the top Photoshop competitors is that it is open source and it's completely free. Well, I know there are people who will come up to me and say, well, actually, if you don't know, you can actually download a cracked version of Photoshop online for free because I know there are cracked and free version of Photoshop out there. But using cracked softwares usually come with the risk of getting malicious softwares, which will eventually slow down your device. And in the worst case scenarios, they will just simply corrupt your data and your device. And there is no antivirus software which will prevent it. Still, apart from the privacy and the security reasons, there are people who just simply pay for their Netflix subscription instead of actually watching pirated movies online. For those people who actually feel obligated to pay for whatever services they're using, they can then simply use Krita and it will do the job for them. As far as the interface or the ease of using the software goes, even if you're switching from Photoshop to Krita or from Krita to Photoshop, the theme, the overall layout will feel kind of similar and you can get used to either of the softwares within days. And since Krita is built specifically for artists, unlike Photoshop which is built for photographers and photo manipulators, Krita's interface is a little bit better for digital artwork. As far as the additional options go, you have a reference tool in Krita which will just simply eliminate any reason for using a second screen or a sub window for managing your reference images. I'll definitely make a video on this showing how powerful this tool actually is. But until then, yeah, it does exist and it's really powerful. As far as Krita's default brushes go, they are surprisingly well optimized and are way better than default brushes from Photoshop. But again, because Krita follows the artistic niche or niche, whatever you call it. And the brush engine which Krita provides us is as powerful as Photoshop, if not better. I think I have covered a little bit about Krita's brush engine in my previous videos. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description as well as there will be a notation somewhere over here. Now coming to the last thing which Krita does better than Photoshop is that it has an inbuilt animation in it. Because Photoshop is not artist driven, it is photography driven in nature. So there is no animation tool in it. Now since we are in the middle of this video, enough with the positivity. If Krita had all of these amazing features in it, why nobody is using it? Or why it is not as popular as Photoshop at this point? The simplest answer to this question will be that it's not industry standard. Well, just like you, it makes little to no sense to me, but it is true and it's a fact. Just like YouTube or Google, Photoshop, when it was released, was way ahead of its time. And because of that, now it has kind of a monopoly over the whole industry. Even the people who actually have nothing to do with digital art or photo editing know about what Photoshop is and what it does. In fact, Photoshop itself has become a term which is much more easily replaced with photo editing. I've actually heard people saying Photoshop instead of photo editing in many instances. Even one of the biggest art or game studios have entire workflows entirely designed around Adobe's ecosystem. Now, no matter how expensive these Adobe bundles will get, people are still going to pay for them and they're going to use them. And whether you like it or not, Photoshop cannot be surpassed at this point. Not only because it has superior features, but also it has gained so much popularity as well as goodwill over the past few decades. So what should you do as an artist? What software you should use at the end of the day? If you're just doing art as a hobby or you're a freelancer, I will recommend you to go for Krita because if you're doing it as a hobby, Nobody gives a shit about software you're using. And if you're using it as a freelancer, personally speaking from my experience, all of my clients till now hardly give a shit about what software I'm using. However, if you want to work under some well-established studios, Photoshop is a must. So yeah, I hope you got your answer. If you're new to the channel, I make content related to digital art. And if you're interested into that stuff, you can subscribe. You can turn on the notification if you want latest content updates. You can even comment about your own opinions about this matter. You can share your suggestions for next video as well. Because I'm taking a lot of them nowadays. So yeah, this is it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.